Good morning and welcome to What AM, your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, sports, campus events, and your daily weather outlook. I'm Nathan Bowman. Massive progress is being made in Louisiana to get the lights back on. Power has been restored to more than half of those left in, dark, in the dark from Hurricane Ida, dropping the number to almost 420,000. When the storm hit just over a week ago, it knocked out power to a million people, including all of New Orleans. About 70% of the city has service again, along with all of Baton Rouge. Others could be waiting up to three weeks. Scientists are going over detailed pictures of rock samples from Mars. The Perseverance rover beamed them back after its first successful attempt and using a drill to crack the rock. NASA called it a phenomenal accomplishment. The hope is to use the data to learn more about microbial life and the climate history of the Red Planet. Congresswoman Sydney Axney has been named co-chair of a task force focused on the nation's rural communities. The Iowa Democrat says she will be recruiting other House Democrats to work on a policy agenda for the Rural Reinvestment Task Force. Axney says she sees it as an opportunity to have a greater voice to raise rural issues for, up for discussion. She says there's a big misunderstanding of what rural America con contributes. Axney heard from farm groups, the biofuels industry, and farmers growing organic crops last week during a forum held at the Dallas County Fairgrounds. She says the task force will lobby for more direct federal resources to be devoted to things like broadband access, housing, and federal biofuels policy. Tyson Foods, which is the largest employer in Metro Sioux City, is offering its frontline workers paid sick leave for the first time. The move is part of an agreement that secured union support for its mandate that all United States employees get vaccinated against the COVID-19 virus. Workers have until November 1st to get vaccinated but the agreement provides for medical and religious exemptions. When we come back, we will give you a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. Stay with us. A bounty placed on my head by insurgent forces. I haven't missed a day, a beat, in my career. I haven't been in the hospital since the day I was born. Only one thing has been able to take me down, COVID. And now I've done my part to take COVID down, getting the vaccine. Even though there is so much against us, you will see me wearing a face covering. And even with my face covered, you will see me as a son, as a friend to everyone I meet, as a fighter for change, as a woman who stands up for what I believe in. So join me in wearing a face covering to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Because this is one small act of kindness that has the power to bring us all together. Welcome back. In entertainment news, the new Sony film, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, is getting its release date moved up. The sequel to the 2018 Venom movie will now release two weeks sooner than originally scheduled. This comes as box office numbers for the new Marvel Studios film, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, are coming in way above industry expectations. The Tom Hardy-led film, which also stars Woody Harrelson, will debut on October 2nd. Dungeons & Dragons fans better start stocking up on their nerds because the candy is teaming up with the fantasy role-playing board game for unique collaboration. From now until December, anyone who purchases a nerds product with the D&D brand will be allowed to participate in the exclusive campaign called Restoring Harmony. After you upload the receipt to nerdscandy.com dnd, it will unlock a special adventure and new nerds characters. More uploads equal more characters, and once all six have been unlocked, the player will reach the final adventure. Taking a look at today's weather, today there will be sunny skies bringing in a high of around 80. And tonight we'll see some pretty clear skies and a low of 52. And rounding off, tomorrow will be a sunny day with a high of around 78. Today the representative from the University of South Dakota will be here. 
They can be found inside the library from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Enjoy your day.